Imagine if you could sleep for an hour right now and wake up after a year in future. Wait a minute, is that even possible? Well, with our current understanding of physics, time traveling into future is certainly possible. So bye bye to the past right now. Same as river flows at different rates at different parts, time can also flow faster at some parts and slower at others. We already have some people on earth who have time traveled into future using this phenomenon and we will introduce them later in this video. For now, let's know what is time dilation. Time dilation is the difference in elapsed time measured by two different observers, one of whose time is related relatively faster than the other. To understand how time dilation occurs, let us first understand how clock measures time. Clock is any device that counts events occurring at a regular interval. That regular interval can be a moving pendulum, resonating quartz, or simply a photon beam bouncing between two plates. Since the photon clock is most accurate and works even in absence of gravity, let us suppose a photon clock is traveling at half the speed of light in a spaceship. People on a spaceship won't notice anything abnormal with the clock, but a stationary observer will notice that the photon beam is traveling at a diagonal path. The diagonal path obviously covers greater distance than a straight path and since photons move at the speed of light and the speed of light is constant, increase in distance equals to increase in time. So one minute for people on a spaceship can be two minutes for observer. Similarly, our body and everything around us are made up of matter. Ultimately, at quantum level, matters are also made up of photons and gravitons. Photons and gravitons both move at the speed of light and they need to cover a certain distance for chemical changes and other body activities like metabolism, respiration, regeneration and degeneration of cell to occur. When you move at a very high speed on a spaceship, photons and gravitons follow a diagonal path relative to your stationary twin on Earth. Diagonal path means greater distance which in turn means greater time. So when you return to Earth, you can find yourself younger than your twin and all thanks to time dilation due to motion. Same as motion, gravity also causes time dilation. You might have heard of gravity bending light. Well, light always travels in a straight line, it is the space or medium itself that is bent by gravity. So in this case as well, gravity is causing photons to follow a longer path and since speed of photons is constant, increase in distance results in increase in time for the stationary observer. Thus, time slows down with the increase in motion or gravitation. Both the time dilation due to motion and gravitation can be observed in the International Space Station. Though it has very low gravitation compared to surface of Earth, due to its high velocity, the International Space Station experiences time slower than that of Earth. And this is the man who holds the record for longest time travel. His name is Sergei Krikalov and he has stayed for 804 days in the International Space Station. When he returned to Earth, he was 0.02 seconds younger than anyone else on Earth. That means he has traveled 0.02 seconds into future. This rate is almost negligible but we should be happy to know that time traveling is not impossible anymore.